Hi there. So I am on to my last men's card. So I've just done a little series of videos. The first one was this card here. Second one, this card here. The third one was this card, or in fact, I did, um, I did originally make it as that one, which I actually intended that to be the Father's Day card for my husband. Um, and then I completely forgot and made him something else. So yay, today, Father's Day, I suddenly remembered this when I was doing the video earlier. There you go. Uh, so, and the last card is bacon and eggs on toast. You know, gotta have toast as well. So I am going to show you um, what I've used for this and then how to make it. And there will be a link in the comments below so that you know um, you can actually go ahead and check out what I used. So I have used the Happy and the Birthday from this set here, which is called Biggest Wish. It is $30 and you can buy that through my store. I absolutely love the way that they're such a big, nice big sayings. And I think big sayings are really useful. Um, then the other two things I've used. So my egg, the shape of my egg is made using one of the laying di diorama dies. Um, and there's a few different dies in there, seven dies. I should really put my glasses on and I might be able to tell you a bit more info about it. So seven dies in that and they're all slightly higgledy piggledy shapes. Um, they're kind of cool. I like them. I actually do have another card where I used those dies just over here. So hang on one moment. I actually used it with that one there, which I do in another video. Um, no, I don't actually do this in a video. It's just on my blog. So check out my blog. Um, and the other thing I have used is one of the layering circles just to create the yolk of the egg. Otherwise, let's move on and I will show you how I have done this. So I have pre-cut my layering diorama and I've pre-cut my circle for the yolk of the egg. And I have a couple of strips like this, which is what's going to make my bacon. And I have something for toast. And I did have a card around here somewhere too. Um, really hope. Let's just find another card. I'm sure the other one will turn up when I clean everything up at the end. <laughs> All right. So the first thing you want to do is create your toast. So what I've done is I have rounded the bottom because, you know, bread is kind of roundish at the bottom. It's not completely straight. Mm. There we go. Rounded bottom. And the other thing I've done is I've actually just created that sort of a shape. So I might just draw it with pencil to make sure that um, I'm going to be happy with it. There is a pencil in this drawer somewhere. Oh, there's several pencils and now they're all coming out. Uh, so I'm just going to sort of give myself a bit of a camel hump type thing really I think that'll do so let's just draw that round camel hump doesn't have to be precise mine's definitely not precise now but it's just to give you an idea of you know if you had a loaf of bread it would kind of be that sort of shape really At least mine do anyway. Nice sink in the middle. <laughs> it's probably not how it's supposed to be. It's probably meant to be like that, but hey, you know, that's fine. I do notice that when I get a loaf of bread from the supermarket, it usually has a bit of a divot in the top of it. So we're going with that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna bring my um, bit of scrap paper in and you'll notice with the toast that it's got a bit of texture to it so I've created that just with a piece of um, just ordinary um, sponge thank you whoever said that <laughs> and just a case of inking it up and tapping it down so just a cheapo sponge from like two dollar shop and that's just given me that little bit of texture 
I'll just hold it there. Hopefully it's not really blurry and hopefully you can see that. So I've got that, but I kind of figure that toast has this sort of like bit around the outside of it that looks burnt, <laughs> basically, for want of a better word. So all I've done is I've taken my dauber and I've just literally drawn with the dauber around the outside. It doesn't have to be perfect because um, let's face it, toast is going to be, bread is going to be burnt in one area and not in another or, you know, whatever it might be. And let's move it up there. There we go. Looks about right to me. Now, if you want the edge to be a little bit distressed, you can just grab it and just sort of distress the edge of it slightly with your um, with your bone scorer. So literally all I'm doing is sort of going over it with the edge of my bone scorer and just I can't can't think of a better way of saying it other than just distressing it. There we go. It I don't know what it does to it, but it just gives it that slightly um, look like it's been toasted, for want of a better way of putting it. So that will go onto my card there, but we're not going to stick it on just yet because we're going to make up the rest of it. Right, so we have this and this and... I'm going to grab my, so I've gone with Bumblebee for my colour because I think it looks kind of yolk-like. And you'll notice that we've got a bit of a splash of colour going on on the outside of it. So I'm just going to add one of those in and pop that down onto there. So this time I am just going to curl this slightly with my fingers. Because I can't, I can't actually make it curly, unfortunately. That's um, a little bit beyond my capabilities. But I can do it like this. So I can, whoops, I can stick my dimensionals anywhere I want to. <laughs> so I've doubled up on my dimensional there. And I'm just going to stick that so it sort of partially covers that um, um, splotchy bit. All right, so I now have my egg all made and I have my toast all made. And now for the bacon. Mmm, bacon. Yum. Hands up who likes bacon. Hopefully there's not heaps of vegetarians on here. <laughs> so what I've done is I've used um, the Textures and Frames, which is the Celebration stamp set. So if you order $90 of goodies from any of the catalogues, Stampin' Up! catalogues, you will qualify for a free Celebration product. So woohoo! Love free Celebration stuff. So this is one of the products that you can have as your free Celebration product. I'm just going along like this to create my ripples in my bacon. And then, again, I'm going to distress my cardstock because bacon is not straight like that. Let's face the facts. And I'm going to scrunch it up because... I think that bacon looks much more realistic if it's not straight. So there's there's one piece. And literally all I'm doing is to begin with, um, you kind of break down the fibers in the um, in the card as you do this. So you just scrunch it all up and just keep scrunching until you're happy. 
with what you end up with so I think that's not too bad then the other thing I have done is I've actually just torn the ends of this because I kind of figure that you know bacon doesn't actually have straight edges and let's just tear that there we go I can get rid of these bits and there's my two pieces of bacon let's pop that up to one side pop that to one side I can get rid of that now no I can't because I actually haven't stamped the happy birthday and really I should be having one of these oh there's my card <laughs> look at that there's the card I just found it hmm. told you I had one around here somewhere Okay, so I want to work out where the happy birthday is going to sit on my card. So before I actually stick anything down, I'm going to stamp my happy birthday. So I'm going to go with soft suede for my colour. And I have my happy. I'm going to pop that there. And I have my birthday, which is going to sit there perfect get rid of that and now I can build my card up so I have used a lot of dimensionals for doing this so I'm just gonna polish off the rest of the dimensionals that were on that one and move on to my next one so let's grab my um, useful tool love this my take your pick tool such a useful tool to have so we're just gonna pop a few of those onto there like that and and i have this feeling that the dog's gonna start barking in a minute because i've just watched somebody walk past the um the window of my um craft room here It's quite amazing that he's not barking yet. <laughs> he's a funny dog. He doesn't seem to bark for people. So, like, he'll bark for birds or kangaroos. Unfortunately, we live in the middle of nowhere, and, of course, we have kangaroos around here. So, so just position that one onto your card. Then you want to work out whereabouts you're going to be putting your bacon with your egg. So I'm tempted to have it a little bit like that this time. Okay, I'm going to find some glue. Oh, a bit of a stretch there. Because I want my egg to sit flat on top of my toast. Hopefully that was about it. Yep, that looks good. And then, so with this, I've kind of put um, my mini dimensionals into some of these little divots, if that makes sense. So let's just take that, that. And that one. Gotta remember how I had it now. There we go. So one piece of bacon, and let's see whether I can just do the same with this. Pop these, as I say, into the into the bits that um, that kind of hole up. Uh, I can't, I don't know how to explain it, but they are, they're the bits that, um, yeah, have the space. I, you can see what I'm doing. That's probably the best way of explaining it is just showing it. Sometimes that's the way, isn't it? Oh, there we go. So, and we're just going to cross that bacon over this bacon, and we might as well just... There we go, and there it is. So I'm just gonna gather my bits of dimensional up because these have a tendency to get everywhere. Yikes. And there it is, bacon and eggs. Uh, 
blokey sort of card or somebody who likes meat. <laughs> Probably not one for a vegetarian, I would say. But that was the last card in the series of men's cards that I was doing. So this was meant to be a, an in-person class and sadly it um, got cancelled due to COVID and cancelled due to COVID and eventually I just went, fine, I will do it as a video. So if, if you see anything here that you actually want to purchase, don't forget I do have my Stamping Up store. Um, and there will be there should be in theory a link underneath this which will take you to all the products that i've used on this particular card so i hope you have enjoyed it and it's um, given you a bit of inspiration and i'll see you next time thanks for joining me bye